Um, so, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, probably have, like, people that may sell, like, sweatsuits or hats and stuff like that, but they'll use, like, a popular brand logo on their products. Like, this is a, an example of trademark or copyright infringement. Like, basically, you're not supposed to be able to use someone else's logo on your your products and your items and then get, like, basically, it's like you're getting credit for their name. You're building your finances off of the back of their name. So, um, you wouldn't want to do something like that. That's like a prime example of trademark or copyright infringement. Like, we know we wouldn't see some of those outfits in stores. Now, I'm not going to lie. Like, they be cute, but come on now. <laughs> we know that, that Nike does not sell that. So, why are you using Nike on your products? But, um, like, in cases like that, companies can send a cease and desist letter and um, basically have you take it, all of that down. I don't know exactly what they do about the finances that you've gotten from, um, like making sales from those types of items but in some cases if you've made enough they can like sue you to get that profit back um when it comes to using like logos um graphics captions blogs artwork things like that you need prior approval from the artist or the original creator or the original writer to make sure that you have their permission to use it um like even when it comes to like using photos there are websites that are dedicated to um like providing photos for whatever need that you might have they're called stock photos like shutter shock i don't know if it is it shutter shock or shutter stock but either way it might sound familiar um i know personally i use canva and they provide um stock photos for you like you can pretty much find a photo that um embodies whatever it is that you need for the content that you're making so you just want to make sure that whatever like photos or anything that you're using that you actually have permission to use it um now when it comes to like learning about your competitors or studying your competitors you want to be careful of like three major mistakes the first major mistake is copying their content like captions and um like policies from another company or brand's website and then pasting it directly onto yours you're not supposed to be able to do that um it could also like damage your website's ranking whenever uh it's found that you have a lot of copied content there so you want to make sure that you are like if you need to reference another website for ideas make sure that you paraphrase what it is and make sure that it applies directly to you don't just copy and paste um whenever you're another big mistake that people tend to make whenever they are um like learning from competitors like well it's not even learning from competitors but it is a big mistake like if you use a third party company to create content for you or to write a book for you or something of that nature you want to be careful of them using the same materials between clients because um there was a content creator like i guess she's a social media comedian she actually was like under fire for having a book that was accused of plagiarism so like she didn't write her own book it was like a workbook if i'm not mistaken she didn't write her own book she used the company to do that and unfortunately this company used pretty much damn near the same um template that they used for a prior client to create her book and that messed her up completely well, I won't say completely, but it messed her up as far as that venture goes. So you want to be careful of things like that, too. And then another big mistake as it pertains specifically to researching other companies or um, looking to competitors for inspiration is um, like companies or brands that are trying to mimic another com company 
or like trying to mirror that company you still have to be you still have to embody your own brand image like you can't um you can't copy everything that they do like i've seen people like i don't even know who the women are but apparently there was like some little beef of some sort between two um people that cook and i noticed that every time one of them would post a recipe the other one would come with pretty much that same recipe the next day or the same day and then like even with the with the other woman's content she was like throwing shade at the other at the other brand and like stuff like that lame make sure you have your own ideas make sure you follow your own schedule like don't build your brand's image around competition with another brand that's really lame pretty childish actually and it's going to get you nowhere because you are going to bring in the most success whenever you are being truly true to your vision and truly yourself um now it is common courtesy for like if you did need to use content from another creator such as quoting something that they said or sharing a photo or a graphic from another content creator it's common courtesy to just credit the author credit the writer credit the creator so that people know that you know or don't mistake you to be the creator um like people will know where to go find them and more of their work if they wanted to do more research um and then like with that being said there are examples of showing love to other content creators and to other brands one common way is like for instance if you're on instagram and you see a post that you like really something that you probably wish you would have posted first but all you have to do is share it like maybe to your story and that way you're still sharing the same message you still get a chance to express um the way that you feel about this message and but the person that originally created it or originally wrote it they'll still get their credit um another way to show love is like i said you can quote something that another brand or person has said um you can even quote a whole passage and a whole caption but as long as you make sure that it is stated or as long as you make sure that it's clear that you know this is the person that originally that originally made this post that originally made this caption you got to make it clear so that people don't think that you're the one who did it at that point that's when it becomes plagiarism um that's why we have like different ways of citing people's work so that it's clear who who the intellectual property belongs to basically um in another example of showing love would probably be like finding a way to propose a partnership with another brand honestly i would say that's one of the better ways because both of you reap benefits from the partnership both of you are able to benefit from each other and nobody has to steal each other's ideas because at this point you're working as a team and everybody everyone is bringing in their own individual strengths um but with all of that being said a lot of people do not aim to plagiarize other people's work or steal other people's work a lot of people that do accidentally plagiarize things only viewed it as showing love but there are consequences to those actions um whenever you're dealing with social media if you do happen to plagiarize something of someone's work or don't properly cite it your post could be removed you really your whole profile could be removed and you could be banned from that platform so you want to be careful um and then another consequence could land you in court depending on how much money you made off of someone else's idea you very well could end up in court but that is all i have for you guys tonight this is probably one of my shortest live sessions but um i hope that you guys were able to get something out of it and um 
like I said, if you missed any of the previous live sessions, you'll be able to catch that on YouTube. So I'll drop the link to that probably in the comments. And then I'll be post sharing the YouTube link again on my personal page and probably on the Ratchet Nerd Group page. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and thank you for watching.